Patty found a snake. <laughs> Where is it? I don't know. He went into the rocks. Oh, God damn it. There he is. There he is. We're on the Clarion River. Can you see me? Down the Clarion River, day one. I'm already. He's probably over there talking shit. I'm trying not to drag in this little shallow section. So this next video series is of Patty and I's experience on the Clarion River in Western Pennsylvania. We camped there for four days and three nights. We paddled about 27 miles in total. The water gauge at Ridgeville were at 3.2 feet. The air temps were in the 70s during the day and 40s at night. There was no rain forecasted and it was partly cloudy most of the days, but a few days were clear. Hope you enjoy the trip because we totally enjoyed filming it for you. Hello. So, do I wear the wrist brace to protect my wrist or do I wear my glove to protect the blisters? I don't think I could do both. Your wrist. Your blisters will callus and you need that anyway if we're gonna keep doing stuff like this. That's my opinion. That's your professional opinion. It's my professional opinion. <laughs> like right now, I'm working on my callus right here. I can feel it wanting to blister and then I move it away and then I put it back. And it's getting, it's getting there. How you doing? Good, how are you? Yeah, Looks like he's doing a little better. <laughs> that was the same rock that I hit. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm going to hit the rock because I was doing the same thing. Wow, this just broke. All right. Well, I got the extra paddle. Yeah, just come to me. I'll grab your paddle. We'll figure out what to do with this later. This is why we bring extras, people. <laughs> <laughs> I need a right hand offset. Is that it? Yeah, okay. Like I already broken a little bit or something. Yeah, because it was a it was a backstroke. 
I had it on backwards on accident and I was just gonna finish that stroke and it was right at the end of the stroke where it went. I'm like, wait, what? No. <laughs> Now it's going to suck because this is a heavier paddle. <laughs> yeah, this is it. Just follow my line. All right, this is the first rapids that are actually on the map. We're going to start in the middle and then go right to around. Okay. There's a pillow rock right here in the front. Avoid it. I see it. Okay. We're going to go right. I changed my mind. Okay. This is. Well, let's get around these rocks. <laughs> this is just grass. Hey, Gino. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Come on, all the way, all the way. Oh. <laughs> there you go. All right, bye, bud. Get ahead of the camera, Dino. <laughs> we recorded that. Oh, nice. <laughs> if you're wondering where Dean is. He's right there. <laughs> yeah. Put him in the front. Because he actually likes it there. Looks like we found the first nice spot. Paddled in from this tributary. I wanted to scout it, and I'm glad I did. Because we found this epic little spot. <sighs> nice established fire ring. It has a dino. <laughs> the river's just over there. If you can see through the trees. There's a path to a little field, a path to firewood. This is home for the night.
checking out our campsite. Flying the drone. There's a path to where we laid the hammocks or hung the hammocks. Look how cool. Nice and comfy cozy. Right. Look at that view. Dave apparently saw a snake over there. I'm glad I was not there to see it. And that way is more cat fires stuff, I guess. Let's go see the drone. I could hear it. Those are the people <clears throat> that tried to have our campsite, but we got here early enough. <laughs> Dean, what was it? Look at that giant bug that fell. He's never seen this thing, huh? No, look at him, he's checking it out. <laughs> like, what? Look. He landed on my bed. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> it's okay, Dino. <laughs> Mom, save me. All right, so Dave's teaching me how to build a fire. Can <laughs> <laughs> I get under that? Or no, that? you're going to lay it across it. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Don't don't put it down. Le just leave it up like that. Now build more, like that. But now you want a little bit thicker. All this stuff. Oh. When I say a little thicker, I meant a little thicker compared to what's already there, not what is out here. Otherwise, it's just going to struggle to catch. All of these that I'm laying right here is what I'm referring to. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking for more of them. Okay, so then they'll go take those and lay those across the top of that. Crissy crust? Um, just the, the same way you have it. Oh. It'll eventually light. But don't, don't cover that uh, channel that you created. It's still there. It's okay. Now, a little bit, look at it. A little bit bigger than that. <laughs> like this. Like those. Yeah, like that. Good. This, this, and this. And then just break the long ones down. So now, those are all too long, so just break them and make a pile, and then you're ready to go. Yep, that'll work. No, that's okay. Whatever. <laughs> that was wet. Oh, then don't throw it in there. Don't. If it's wet, don't. Definitely don't throw it in there. Yeah, it's too easy to break. Yeah, it's um, it's rot. There you go. That's a good piece. I normally do this. I'm teaching her people, just so you don't think I'm like watching her do this. <laughs> There, put one end on the rock like that and then stand on it. Uh, you could try it like that. You don't have the strength though. Put it on the ground. Like this? Yeah. Perfect. Now you have the strength. See? Perfect. Oop. I'll fix it. Okay. 
And I think that's good. I think you have, yeah, so just, so when it's time, what you'll do is you'll take one of those fire sticks, light it on fire, get it really good, and then, and then put it on a piece of wood or a leaf, and then push the leaf in. Because if you drag it on the ground, I've, I've put it out on accident. You've, I've snuffed it. Okay. So I've just, I just do that instead. So, and I don't know, what time is it? It's five o'clock. So in like two hours, I say around seven is when we'll light the fire because the sun's going to set closer to nine. Mm -hmm. So we need a little bigger now? Or is that No, that? no, that's, that's it. We don't want a raging fire. That's good enough for, to start. And once that gets going, then we'll feed it. We'll, we'll start, we'll feed it from there. Anything heavier will push it down and then you won't get the airflow underneath it like from that trough that you created. Okay. But good job. That's how you do it. That's how I do it, I should say. We'll see how it works later. Patty found a snake. <laughs> Where is it? I don't know. He went into the rocks. Oh, God damn it. He's in there somewhere. Oh, there he is. See him? Right there. He was big. He is big. I see him. Oh. See him? You're not going to like him when we light the fire. He might, actually. It's nice and warm. Oh, God. I don't want to sit around here now. No, I'm going to scare him away. <laughs> I just got to get a stick long enough to annoy him. He's not big enough to eat either one of you. There he is. There he is. There he is. Coming your way, babe. <laughs> And that's how you get rid of a snake. <laughs> She's still up there. <laughs> do you like snakes? Stop. No. Why no. do you hate snakes so much? There's, they're, they're slithery and slimy and they don't have legs and it's creepy and, and he was not invited to her party. <laughs> He's over there now. Say goodbye. Bye. He's a blue Tito. Okay, oh, yep, that other snake came out to, to greet it. Wow, we got freaking like National Geographic shit going on right now. Yeah, that snake went into wherever that burrow thing is. It can't get all the way in. But that's where it went, right into the same spot. That's, yeah. a, that's a den. So that's what's happening, and it makes sense. It's the perfect spot for snakes to yeah, it's be. Yeah, like little mansion there. Yeah. And he's about to molt. That's why he was like that light gray. His eyes are foggy, so he's on edge because he can't see as well as normal. All right, and, we're gonna leave him alone if he's on edge. Yeah, um, in the next day or two, he'll molt. Aren't you so happy I have all this snake knowledge? <laughs> sure. sure. <laughs> Matthew, you would fucking be in heaven if you were here. You would love it here. Oh, Matthew, just so you know, if you end up sticking to your plan, you're only going to be a half hour from here. So we'll talk more about that later. Yeah, they're definitely down in there, though. I mean, we could take rocks apart and expose it. Why would we do that? <laughs> I got that on film. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> no, we're just going to leave them not exposed. Okay. They're going to be in their place. We're going to be in our place. We're going to live together in harmony, but not like each other. Okay. Much.
there's been another snake sighting. Two additional snake sightings. Potentially a third, but I think it's the one that I flung off. I think he snuck back, but there might be one. The moral of the story is there's too many fucking snakes. <laughs> we think there's a snake dead in this um, rock pile, because if you look right in there, There's a snake head. Right there. You can see him kind of just in the shadow behind the light there. But his head is just sticking out. You can kind of see him where he's going in. There you go. See, Snakey, now you're YouTube famous. <laughs> he goes up in. My biggest concern. Yeah, because I started moving. <laughs> My biggest concern is I think his body is right there, so if we light the fire and he doesn't leave, I mean, I guess he's a fucking animal. He'll, he'll Barbecued leave. Barbecued snake is what happens. Well, yeah, slowly, and that's what I don't, I don't want to cook him. Well, if he's too stupid to move, then... No, but, it, like, he might be like the frogs. You could put frog in, like, room temperature water and turn the heat on above, below it slowly, and they'll eventually cook themselves because they won't recognize the temperature change because it's slow. And I don't know, I don't want the snake to do the same thing in the rock pile. Where next thing you know, he, he's too stiff to move and he's fucked. Hmm. I ain't trying to kill anything. But. So it's snake number, let's see, there was one by the river that I didn't see, but he saw. And then yeah, there was, there was the that one, one. <laughs> that we talked about earlier. And then there was another one over there. That he saw again. I walked through the river and saw a, a wood pile and there was a snake on top of that. And then there were, then we're sitting We were just sitting chatting. down chatting and I saw a baby snake in the, in our wood pile and I just told Patty, get up. She's like, why? I'm like, just get up. I so, did. and then it went down into where I think that snake is right now, but I got him to come out by poking around in there and he's off over there now. He slithered off into those bushes. Probably waiting for mom to show up. Mom's standing. It was def It was definitely significantly <laughs> smaller. I should have been filming all of these. I didn't film any of them. Sorry. <laughs> but now we got that guy. I'm just waiting for him to come out so I could we could have a campfire because it's almost time. It's almost six. It's already been one o'clock. <laughs> Here, this is be perfect. So lay this down just outside of it light that and then stick it on that and then push all of it in this is how i would do it is it on yeah that's why i hit the all right button. folks there's three <laughs> snakes in this pit but i finish what i start so fucking hate <laughs> Hold it the other way. Yeah, like that. It's lit. I made the, thank you. Get that lit a little bit better. Like turn it upside down. Yeah. It's hot. Yeah, I know. So like more of an, ink. yeah, like that. There you go. <laughs> Sliding in. Is that good? Yeah. It's smoking. That means the thing's fire. We might smoke out the snakes. Beware.
that's the one earlier that I couldn't get out, just so you know. Oh, what am I doing? See, we knew it was going to happen. You just caught a glimpse of one of them. I don't see the other one, but I'm sure it knows that that the heat it feels is means that. Or maybe I don't know. I don't know. Anticipating feeling a snake go over my feet because I can't Oh my see. god, chill. <laughs> they don't come out at night. Trust yeah, me. They don't know that. They don't read the internet. <laughs> they don't read the internet. <laughs> oh my god, you're hilarious. <laughs> so, we are from the future and we're saying goodnight because we forgot to say goodnight last night. So, this is a sneak preview of tomorrow's campsite. Or the next video. I don't know how I'm doing this. It could be tomorrow or the next video. So. Good night. Good night. Yesterday. <laughs> <laughs>